everybody, welcome back. Alright, we're making our way into the catacombs now. These counters are probably better than the ones that we're currently wearing. Yeah. So we'll put those on. And we're just going to go down here and fight this skeleton to see what kind of gear we can get. Hoping we would just fall down here, but uh, that'll work. Thought he was going to run away. I think these vambraces work with those gauntlets. They do. That helmet will work for now. We have a better breastplate. That's not a very good short sword. I don't remember. This doesn't lead anywhere, does it? No, it doesn't. Alright, so... Now we'll work our way back to the beginning so we can climb back up. Alright, so this helmet is even better than this one. Uh, we won't be using it for all that long. Uh, this is just a give and take situation, and the, for the most part, um, I'll just stick with the Proctor Sword. Fight the graveyard skeleton. some good hits in. There we go. That two-handed sword is not going to be better than the one we have. Um, hmm. The coverage is better with the Curus, but uh, that's about it. And this is the same, but we'll go ahead and just change out the Spalders. And the Greaves. 
and the steel cap shoes. Our counters are better, uh, but these gauntlets are superior to ours, so we'll switch those out. All right, not too bad. Now, even though we have maneuvering and armor too, our encumbrance is pretty high again now, so we're basically back where we were before in terms of speed. So we just need to wait for maneuvering and armor 3 to finish, which we're currently working on. I don't know where he hit us, but he must have hit us somewhere where we don't have any armor. He did some some pretty significant red health damage there. But we'll now move on to the third floor, where we will soon get the Sea in the Dark helmet, but the Sea in the Dark helmet is kind of starting to become more trouble than it's worth. Um, and what I mean by that is it's it's pretty difficult to see even with that with that helmet on. And uh I'm constantly reminded of that in the comments, so uh they just stick with the torch and one handed weapons from here on out. Uh we'll just have to see how that plays out. But uh I do I don't know, I do agree that it it is a bit dark and it certainly could be brightened up just a bit. And it would just be a monumental pain for me to have to edit the brightness after the fact for every time that I am not holding a torch. It's just that's uh it's tedious. Alright. So we'll put the helmet on, but like I said, I'm just going to keep using the torch. Not a big deal. The Proctor Sword is fantastic. I have no problem continuing to use it, at least for a while. That could be useful later on.
Alright, there's a full health salve. That's a great find right there. Apparently somebody is nearby. There they are. Okay, that thick leather coat might be just slightly better. Eh. We'll still change it out. Oh, didn't even see the zombie standing there. That was supposed to be a stand. There we go. pass on that one. Shouldn't have gone th through with that attack. No reason to get hit right there. But luckily the armor absorbed it, so it doesn't really matter. that key, it just opens a door that goes back to the beginning of the level. Alright, we've skilled up, but we don't really have time to mess with that yet. Alright, so we do have Maneuvering and Armor 3 now, so that's good. We'll work on Fend next. Uh, these are, yeah, I'd probably stick with the Warhammer just because it does an additional type of damage. Alright, that's the Executioner Sword, don't want it. Dark Reeves are better. Our van braces are superior as well. Yeah, so don't need any of that. Take a look at this Bardiche horse, but it's in good condition. You know what? I'll probably just replace the two handed sword with the Bardiche here. See if there's a zombie down here. Okay. 
wonder where the proctor is. And we've already got decent steel cap shoes, not gonna worry about those. Uh, we've got better gambeson, don't need those gloves. We will take the male leggings, of course, but we need to improve them. Go oh, now they're flawless. Male vest. Uh, no, don't need it for those. I guess it's possible that the Proctor wandered over here. It's unlikely. But it is possible. That's a nice arming camp. Alright, so maybe the Proctor is over here with the skeletons. to hit the skeleton in the legs where there's no armor. Alright, let's see if we can find that other skeleton and the proctor. wouldn't be beyond that locked door anyway. There's the other skeleton. Backtrack to find the Proctor. It only seems appropriate that as a Proctor we should fight the other Proctor. That's not the Proctor, but somebody. That's gotta be. Yep, there she is. Now, if we wanted to, we can dual wield two Proctor swords. 
That's in decent now. Yeah, we'll switch that to decent condition. Uh, yeah. Take that. Alright, we almost made it to the portal without taking any red health damage. Almost. But it's not too terrible. Alright, so this is where we're going to end this episode. Thank you as always for hanging out. I appreciate it. Please hit like and subscribe if you would like to. And I'll see you all next time.